Oh yeah, this is my new welder I acquired. This is a TIGMIG machine, an inverter. The uh, weight of it is very light actually. It hasn't got a big heavy coil in it. On the front panel you've got the connecting points which this one here is the earth lead for both MIG torch and stick welder. This is where the stick welder torch plug in. This is your Euro connector for your MIG torch. Here is the amps control for the stick welder. This is the power for the MIG welder and then this one here is for the wire speed for your MIG welder. This come up as the current meter when you're welding power light and this switch here switches between the MIG and then the manual metal arc. Also you can buy a torch which will do a TIG welding which will plug in here and also if you really wanted to go down that route you can use the gasless wire for the MIG. I don't like that. Turn it around here, got a door where you put your spool of wire on here and down here is your wire feed so when you pull the trigger on your torch this will set this in motion and then that's a nice wire feed shut the door and what we do look around the back here here's the power switch and this here is for the shielding gas for your MIG torch and it's got a nice cooling fan there's an earth socket there right so let's have a go at some stick welding about with the amp settings but that's not bad. Now we'll have a go at doing a bit of MIG welding. This is the torch that came with it so I'll just load up the wire in there. Okay I've installed some wire that's 0.8 millimeter wire onto the spool and then through the wire feed and it's coming out the other end. Now I'll uh, connect up the torch. Now I've got the wire through the torch, I've got to now connect up my shielding gas onto here. There's my bottle of argon, and then there's my bottle, of, there's my flow meter, some hoses. So I'll just get that sorted. Play around with the amps and the wire feed. All in all, a great little welder, but I'm going to have to play around with the amp settings for both the stick welding and the MIG welding.